Welcome back uh, to this video, part three. I'm not sure what happened at the end of the last part, but uh, all of a sudden it stopped. So we'll just continue from here. We're still doing paper 43, uh, May, June, 2018. I'm Mr. John from explainingmaths.com. Um, so the previous questions we've done in the previous part, at the moment we're doing question four, but we still have one question left. So let's continue. So we have a new set C with different cards, a four, a four, five, five, and a five. And Lena chooses three cards at random from set C without replacement. And now find the probability that the third card chosen is number four. Okay, for three points, so we get some time. So the first two cards, it doesn't matter what the cards are, as long as that third one is a four, okay? Um, you could make a tree diagram, but you could also make like a sample space diagram. What are the possibilities? I could get a five and a five and a four. That would be that would be good. I could also get, let me see, a five and a four and a four. As long as that last one is a four, I could also get. Uh, let me see if I switch those around, a 4 and a 5 and then a 4. I can't get a 4, a 4, and a 4 because there are only two 4s there. I think these are the possibilities. So let's work out each um, um, probability separately and then we add them because all three chances are good. So a 5 and a 5 and a 4, that will be 3 out of 5 times, so 1 5 is gone. 2 out of 4, 2 out of 4, times, and then a 4, 2 out of 3, 2 out of 3. And that is, uh, let me see, uh, 6, 12 out of uh, 60. Is that right? You can use a calculator, 60. I just want to make sure I don't make a silly mistake. 12 out of 60. Yeah, that's correct. Or a 5, which is a chance of 3 out of 5, and a 4 which is two out of four, and another four, which is one out of three. And work that out, that will be six out of 16, correct? And this one must be the same as six out of six, but let's just check that, a four, so there's a chance of two out of five, and a five, three out of four, and and then again a four, one out of three. And indeed, uh, that will give you, but I just want to be sure, six out of 60. So all of them are correct. It's a five and a five and a four, or a five and a four and a four, or a four, a five and a four. So that will be 12, 18, 24 out of 60, yeah? or 12 out of 30, or six out of 15, or two out of five, it's all good. But you don't have to simplify those fractions with probability. Good, um, we continue. Question five, and question five is the algebra question, right? Where you probably have to construct some equations and then solve them. Let's find out. At a football match, how appropriate, I'm wearing my orange tie because Ajax beat Tottenham Hotspur last night, thank you very much. At a football match, the price of an adult ticket is X dollars. Mm. And the price of a child ticket is X minus $250. So a child is two and a half dollars cheaper, the ticket. There are 18 and a half thousand adults and 2,400 children attending a game. The total amount paid for the tickets is this number. Find the price of an adult ticket. So find X, what is X? For four points, so we have some time to do it. So you'll have to construct an equation. And they only give information that you need. Okay, so the information they give, I need to construct my equation and solve it. So if I pay 18,500 times X, yeah, because they all pay this X amount, all 18,500 people, and if I add there the price that all the children are paying, all 2,400 of them are paying this amount, that's 250, so that's a dot, 
And that equals the total of money uh, I have in my pocket after, uh, you know, selling all those tickets, 320,040. So that's the equation I construct and which I now have to carefully uh, solve. Okay, so let's expand those brackets first, 2,400x. 2,400 times minus 2.5. Let's use a calculator for that. So that's minus 6,000 equals 320,040. Okay. Uh, continue. Then I'm going to simplify. So uh, if I uh, rearrange it, so it says 18,500 plus 2,400x. So that is... 20,900x equals and 320,040 plus 6,000. That's 326040. And then I divide that number by 20,900. And keep in the back of your mind, so that's going to be the value of x. And we're talking about a ticket for a football game, which is dear but $15.60 sounds quite reasonable, yeah? It shouldn't be like 12,000, your answer, because that would be rather expensive for a football ticket. Okay, two decimal places, because it's money, yeah? the cents, but if you say 15.6, that's fine. Factorize for two points the following expression. Um, and factorizing, uh, you ask yourself, is there a common factor? No. Is a grouping? No. Difference of two squares, no. This is normal factoring, okay? So in those brackets, y and y, and two numbers that multiply minus 84 and add five. Poof. So you're looking for those two factors of 84. Well, considering it's negative 84, the signs must be opposite, a plus and a minus. And then you can just try it out uh, by trial and error. And um, I... Uh, believe plus 12 times minus 7 let me just check that by expanding uh, y squared minus 7y plus 12y is 5y and this 12 times minus 7 minus 84 so that's also correct continue i i so it still relates to this question for three points the area of the rectangle is 84 i always like to put that in Find the perimeter. How interesting. So the area, y plus 5 uh, times y equals 84. And now see what happens when you are expanding those brackets. You get y squared plus 5y minus 84 equals 0. And that is the same, uh, well, it's an equation now. But that's the same one as the expression in the previous question, yeah? Because these questions are related. So solving this, uh, use that answer of before, minus 12 and 7. However, we're now talking about a rectangle. So a length, it can't be minus 12, because what is minus 12 centimeters? I have no idea. So I have to use the positive value, 7. And if that is 7, is y is 7, and y plus 5 is going to be 12. So the perimeter is going to be 12 plus 7 times it by 2, yeah, where the perimeter is the sum of the lengths on the outside. So what is that, 38? I believe so. 38. What a beautiful question. Uh, more algebra? Yes, more algebra. In a shop, the price of a monthly magazine is M dollars, and the price of a weekly magazine is M minus 75 cents. 